we now experience the benefits of using ArchiCAD. As you can see, placement and copying is very easy. Hello everyone, SP Architects here. Today I want to show you how to render your ArchiCAD scenes with Enscape. Generally, I prefer using T-Motion for ArchiCAD renders. Actually, there are benefits or non-benefits of using T-Motion. This list is very long, so I suggest you learning both. Actually, since Chaos Group have bought the Enscape, there are new features and render quality is impressive. For instance, for benefits, it's very good for interior renders. As for the interior renders, I suggest using Enscape, but for exterior renders, I suggest you TV Motion because unfortunately, Enscape trees are not realistic as TV Motions. Actually, TV Motions trees are not realistic too. Therefore, in some situations, I use my own models. Anyway, you will see all of the details in this video. Of course, for the benefit of the channel, do not forget to hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe because I'm going to make similar tutorials like this. Without any further information, let's get into the architect. Alright guys, here we are in ArcCAD and in order to use Enscape, we need to first download the Enscape plugin. After that, we will see this Enscape tool here. And then, we will use this Enscape toolbar. Like this, let's just take this tool here. And I want to reduce its size. After that, we will see a couple of options. First of all, this is the start Enscape. Now Enscape is not working, it's going to start after we click this button. And this is the leave updates. With that, your models will be automatically updated in TV Motion. After that, we have this synchronized weave. This is a kind of annoying or sometimes not annoying situation. Because when you change your camera position in ArcGIS, also in TV Motions will be changed. You can handle this according to your project situation. And then, we can place our trees from here, trees and also other assets, interior objects, cars, planes. Let's close this for now. And here we can see the Enscape material library, which is similar as T-Motion material library or Chaos library. If they are ready to use material libraries. And, and also we have this Enscape material editor. With this, we can change our cat materials and we can arrange them as Enscape's material library. For instance, if we click any kind of material from here, we will be able to change its texture. As you all know, generally we change the texture from the ArcGIS material editor. Instead of that, we can use this. Actually, this will be way more faster for your project. And we can change their tint. For instance, if you have a white color texture, if you give them any kind of red, your material, your texture will be red. And we can change the height. As you can see, we have bump map right now. We can turn it to normal map and displacement map. Displacement map means your material, your texture will be bumped as 3D. We will use displacement for bricks and stones. For small details, we will use bump and normal maps. And we can change the reflection from here. If we increase the roughness, your material will be, will be rough and won't reflect anything. If you turn your material to metal, we will increase its value and with playing this specular level, you can, you can determine how intense your reflection. If you want to turn your material to a transparency, for instance glass or cutout, I mean with the cutout, you just imagine that you cut something onto your paper and place some model, this is going to be act like that. Now, we have the main type, this is generic, and we can change this, we can make this carpet, it's going to be calculated different styles, and we have clear code, and as you can see, we have a car icon here, this is going to be very useful for cars, planes, actually vehicles, foliage, grass, self-illuminated, and water, etc. Let's just close this for now, and here we have general settings. If you are using RTX graphic card, you will see these settings will be activated as mine. Let's close this and start Enscape. Let's click this start Enscape. Alright, here we are in the Enscape scene. And as you can see, global illuminations and lights are already calculated. 
you can see this green glass reflection, you can see shadows and other glass reflections. Unlike the TV motion, you will change the camera with left click. In TV motion, you will do that with right click. With right click and shift, your time is changing. If you are getting used to using TV motion, this can take some time. Now in TV motion, we have more options. We can place access also here. We can change video settings. We will take our render from here. With this screenshot, we have batch rendering mono panorama and we can export this scene and with that we can walk around our map if you want to create a camera you will use this let's click that and here we decide a camera position for instance let's go to right side of the building and if this is okay for you we will click this create view but before that i will change some settings from here from the right top of the window we have this save frame, this will show you which part of your scene will be rendered or not. You can change your perspective type to two point and here we will click this visual settings. This is important because we can change the camera exposure, render quality, model style. For instance, you can make this like this, like this. This is another kind of model and only white. We can go to image and we can change the contrast value from here. We can change the shadows, increase, reduce. We will try to make it balance and highlights. Highlights means the lights of your scene is going to be used for the brightest surface for your scene. For now, let's just click auto contrast and saturation color temperature. Saturation is not important, but color temperature is important. Now, as you can see, this is a yellow scene and this is a blue cold scene. I prefer using warm scenes. If you are creating animation, you can use this motion blur. Last flare is important. Let's reduce it. Bloom, I, bloom, I don't like it. I will reduce. We need this reduce a little. And this chromatic aberration is completely nonsense. We don't need to use it. You can just make it zero first when you see it. Alright, let's go to atmosphere. We can add some fog, as you can see here, to here, this part. Some brightness. Now it's zero. Now it will turn to an overcast scene. Also, do not forget to change the density of the clouds from sky, of course. Generally, if I increase this, it must be exploded as colors, but for the main, it was auto exposure on, therefore, we can just increase this sun brightness to any value we want. We have artificial light brightness, this is a kind of spotlight, and shadow sharpness, ambient brightness, this is the brightness value which the sun cannot see thoroughly. Let's go to the sky for now. We can change the horizon type, as you can see here, we have some trees. We can change these trees to clear sky box. You can assign different HDRI maps. You can download from the, for instance, hdrihaven.com or any kind of art sourcing. Clear. Let's make this density zero and others. Actually, I prefer using this. If I'm not going to use HDRI, actually, glass are not as realistic, I thought. And we have some small details, they are not important. Actually, this output is important. We can change the resolution from here. Now it's at the maximum, of course. You can click this custom and give more pixel to your render. But do not forget, it will be take your calculation time. By the way, this part is important too. If you are going to change your background in Photoshop, you will change this portable network PNG and you will click this apply alpha channel this is important it says export the image with the alpha channel applied the background is transparent so in the photoshop it's empty you can change it from there all right now let's start modifying our scene first of all let's save this angle camera angle therefore we won't need to set up again by the way you will see this some position also this is a very nice thing i think 
yeah this part is shadow in the settings from here from atmosphere ambient brightness you will see this part will be more bright now and let's reduce some brightness and after that i will just increase exposure and i will balance to lighting and i want this to be a colder colored therefore from image color temperature will be something like this it's not important for now we can fix them later let's close this and yeah okay if we click create your scene will be updated in archicad as you can see in archicad we have creation in progress so it's waiting for us to finish our work let's click create and wait a little as you can see we can see this enscape view one let's go to archicad and from the view we will see that view from here under the enscape folder enscape view one to change the view settings we will click this edit from here we will be able to change its name and also link visual preset it's important because if you save some preset for your lighting setup it will read that values from here let's say that we go back to the settings and this time if we click this arrow we will see this custom preset let's hit this plus and this is going to be one and or actually let's delete this and i'm just going to duplicate first delete delete click this three dots and click duplicate i'm going i'm gonna call this two and click two and as for the sky this time i want to add a sky box and i want to change it from here i don't know maybe this one i will decrease the brightness yeah we have something different let's change another type yeah this one is not bad dirt bike track and if we change rotation we will see trees behind the scene it will be very good in render let's increase the brightness and actually i want to see some color from the background but we can change the sun position or render settings let's go to atmosphere and increase some brightness something like this by the way if you want to match the sky position with the sun position you will go to this sky once more and click this brightest point as sun direction with that you will see the sun position will be matched with the HDRI with that you will see more realistic and correct results now let's change the rotation once more and brightness some brightness this part is very exploded therefore first I want to deactivate this auto exposure and i will reduce that value now this is still i can change my settings easily and with more control now here we are in the image and we will uncheck this auto contrast and make this highlight to maximum and change this shadow according to this shadow intensity okay let's skip this part you don't need to save these settings it's automatically saved of course if you want to save as a file you can click this but now it isn't necessary the main idea of doing this let's close this for now and here we can change scene easily with one click scene 2 and scene 1 let's click save and close this window for now now we will change some materials to see it better we will split this window with archicad like so and let's change this road texture 
just click that and click this material editor and from here you need to learn your materials name unfortunately if this window is opened you cannot click your material therefore first we click our material and see our material name from here this was pavement asphalt dark now let's click this material editor and type in asphalt dark and i will change material texture from here and click this browse i have selected something like this you can change the texture size from here i think one is enough and let's go back for a bump map you can use a kind of texture black and white or if you click this use albedo it will use this material and after that as you can see we can change the slider if we zoom inside we will see the changings now it will be something like this we can change roughness now we see some reflection as you can see the color value we won't change metallic because this is broad actually this texture looks well i want to change them but i will change the windows they are important now let's type in here glass it must be glass clear fast and change the color maybe a dark gray yeah way more better reflection roughness is not correct it will be completely flat and change opacity if we just look it from here we will make it maximum and i want to see inside barely inside all right tint color is correct it must include some green now we will change our window joint material let's go to its settings and it was metal aluminium so we are going to search for metal aluminium from here yeah this one i will make this color to underside something like this from advanced yeah here let's just zoom inside and we will change this hand rail material also let's click our rail and click top rail its material is yeah it's not overrided let's override it and make that okay stainless steel let's click okay and it will work also for this let's just copy settings let's click alt and again control plus alt let's just change this wall texture wall color it's paint and beige let's make that white and after that this must be beige there you go i will just give some bump map onto the surface this was titanium white let's click material and find that material from here unfortunately it wasn't highlighted i don't like this system by the way there you go from here let's click this folder and import a texture i have imported a texture let's zoom inside and see that texture we can increase it yeah pay more better and i will reduce its brightness a little down there we go generally you know how to set up materials from now on now i will set up all of the materials for you and we will switch back to the assess placement all right as you can see here i have changed some materials i have assigned a road texture as you can see it's just a simple road map and i have changed this garden walls 
and changed some plaster stucco material. Now we are going to add some car and some trees. First of all, I want to hide these cars or delete from this view. It depends to you. For now, I'm just going to delete them. By the way, this texture is too right. Let's fix it. It's Stonework 25. Let's input Stone. Yeah, this one. And I will just decrease the brightness from here. Yeah, way more better. And I'm gonna give some bump or displacement. As you can see, it looks very well. And change the roughness. Let's add some reflection and so on and so forth. Now we can continue from here and I'm just going to maximum this window and gonna click this assets library. First of all, I will input here car. We have a kind of car options. I don't know which is the best, but let's try this. You will see a shadowy car appeared and it's going to be looked as this until you click this apply. There we go. Click apply and see what we have. Yeah, way more better. After that, let's click this now, close. If you want to add multiple assessment, you will click this. I prefer using this with vegetations. From here, you can change your brush, rectangle and round, or you can even use bucket selection. You can change density from here, distribution random, and other small settings. Now I'm going to search for trees. Let's just click this text and let's find vegetation or trees. There we go. Now we will see only trees. And we will decide a tree what we are going to place. This is interesting. We have symbolic trees also. Let's try this one. This we can turn off after placing because we are using a placement tool. Let's go randomly. This one. Yeah. And maybe a pine. Do we have any kind of pine? I don't know. Yeah. These three. All right. Now let's paint. And going to make something like this. After that, we can make our second. I don't know which one is this. Maybe this one. Yeah, that was true. We have two options here. Regenerate. If you are satisfied with that, you can hit confirm placement. And then we can create our second. As we did before. Confirm. And again to here. There we go. Let's click confirm placement once again and click apply. It will take a little time. Let's wait. Alright, we have placed our trees. It's looking well. And let's go to single placement. Let's click tag, uncheck this tree, let's click this bush and let's just place some bush. We have a base here. Let's plant that to the balcony. After that, let's hit escape and change its position. And its size. After that, I will place some bush or maybe bigger. As you can see, we have some variant. You can use red and green. It depends to your project. 
yeah, this looks way more beautiful. I want to make that bigger, change its position. You can rotate also. Let's push ahead. Maybe we can place this model. Hit escape, select and move. Select and move to here and resize. Also we can place some green trees inside. Let's place some flowers, maybe to here, I don't know. You can change the position in ArchiCAD to, to fix them. Hedges are also important. Let's find some hedge, isolate them, and let's try this kind of hedges. Once we placed, we will duplicate them from ArchiCAD. Let's click apply for now. There we go. It's looking very well. Let's copy this and this one. Here we are in the ArchiCAD. And let's go to floor plan. We now experience the benefits of using ArchiCAD. As you can see, placement and copying is very easy. We will also fix their position too. Now we will change the scale. Let's select them all. From here, let's make this 150. 20 and 250 and multiply. Let's go to 3D window and it will update it. After that, I will push them to the road because I want to see some leaf from outside. Like so. This will be way more better. After that, I want to go to the scene. Let's click the scene, view manager, and click our view. As you can see, this is our view. By the way, this is perspective view. Let's make this two point perspective. Let's add some voting people here too and fix the glass because they are too bright and then render. First, I will go to the assess and going to place a car to here. Maybe, wow, well, we can see Tesla car here too. Let's place this for now. Hit escape and rotate isn't working. Let's click apply. Let's rotate it from the ArchiCAD. Hit F2 to go to the floor plan and rotate. And click assess once more. And this time we are going to tag people. We have teenager, interesting. So let's add them. Why not? Maybe this model and here and maybe a bicycle. Not too bad. Let's click apply it and see what we have. Okay, it looks very nice. Change rotation. Apply. After that, I will go to material. From ArchiCAD, gonna search for glass clear, this guy, and 
crop opacity. Yeah, this is way more better. By the way, we have some space between the hedges. Let's fix them. Maybe 15 centimeters will be enough. Hold shift and click to remove selection. And this is not going to be visible. I'm going to leave it as is. Yeah, that works very well. Now we only have a small adjustments. Let's go to the visual settings and image. Let's give some blue. Play with dance clear and you will see a lens effect here. Maybe a vignette. You can make it in the Photoshop too. And that's all. Now let's go to output. It's at the Ultra HD. Perfect. And our shortcut was F7, also you can hit this icon, this. And here is our render. Actually we have some situations, for instance, these hedges are too green. We will fix them in the Photoshop right now and make some changes too. Alright, here we are in Photoshop and we go to filter first, then click this camera row filter. To change the colors, we will go to the color mixer and from here we will find the color. It was green. As you can see, I changed this and the green changed too. Now if I reduce this, as you can see, it's way more better. And maybe we can make them darker. And this is way more better too. And after that, I will change some changings from here maybe open the shadow and reduce the height and going to change temperature now once we achieved we can also go to the curve and these curve settings are very useful too. If you want to give real highlights, you can just increase the light and you can change the dark. But I want this to be a bright scene, so I'm not going to change them. This looks way more better. After that, as for the final step, I'll go to Optic and change vignette. Actually, this vignette works way more better, way more elegant than Enscape. Maybe this is too saturated. Let's reduce saturation a little. And add some vibrance. Yeah, it looks very well. Let's give some details too. Increase texture value. And other clarity and dehaze. And as for the final, yeah, this is really final. I'm going to click detail and give sharpening. I'm gonna make this 50. Yeah, there we go. This is how you can render your arcade scene. If you like this video, please do not forget to hit the like button. It's very important for the YouTube algorithms for the channel growing larger. Also, you can download this project file. I'm gonna add the link in the description. And also, if you are interested in one-to-one -one private lessons, I have added also another link for that. You can click that and we can discuss details. Alright, this was all it. Thank you for watching. Until next time, have a nice day.